In another stepping stone for Indian Space Research Organization, it will now be collaborating with its U.S. counterpart to map the world every 12 days in the first ever satellite developed by the two in collaboration. NASA ISRO's synthetic aperture radar is set to be launched after a few more tests in the first quarter of 2024 and the aimed timeline for the mission is that of three years. Now, depending on the stability and the success of the mission, it may be extended as there is enough full fuel aboard to support at least five years of operations. Now, NASA has said that the NISA project is better than anything that has flown in the past. The mission will survey the Earth's land and ice caps every 12 days. To provide a multi-year timescale insight into Earth's change, the instruments on board the ambitious mission are capable of mapping changes as small as a centimeter on the face of the Earth. Weon's senior correspondent Siddharth MP tells us more about the mission's progress and what lies ahead. Take a look. NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar is a highly sophisticated Earth observation satellite being built by India and the US. This is the first of its kind mission where the Earth will be mapped every 12 days, that twice every 12 days in a highly you know, sophisticated manner. And this is going to be in extremely high detail and unprecedented detail, including Earth's landmass, ice and forest cover. All of this will be mapped to give better insights into climate change and Earth's natural phenomena. This is a satellite that's being put together at the UR Rao Satellite Center in Bangalore. Earlier this year, around March, the components for this satellite were flown in from the US. They are being integrated in Bengaluru as we speak and also most recently JPL shared an update. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said that the satellite has gone, undergone several tests and then they have passed them very successfully. These include tests to tolerate vibration and shock and the high noise levels at the time of launch of a rocket. In addition to that, the satellite was also tested for its communications ability and so that its two frequencies, the L-band and S-band radars can work in harmony without interfering with each other. So all these tests are completed. Of course, a couple of tests more are required. Another important test that was carried out was the satellite's ability to withstand varying temperatures. So out there in Earth orbit, the temperatures can go anywhere between minus 10 degrees centigrade to plus 50 degrees. It's a variation of 60 degrees. So the satellite is also being tested to be able to withstand that. So the next step will be more tests and then final integration. Thereafter, the satellite will be wheeled to India's spaceport Satish Dhawan Space Center. And from the SDSC or Satish Dhawan Space Center, on a GSLV Mark II rocket, the satellite is expected to be mounted and launched in early 2024. We are expecting it between February and March. This is going to be a highly sophisticated mission carried out by ISRO and NASA. And the data from this is expected to benefit the science community world over. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.